Hello again, I'm Damian from Webcom and this is the final video of the series about networking services that you can self-manage with the Realize Automation Console. If you remember, for the last time, this network is our internet and this is our lab managed by the Realize Automation Console and I have here two servers with Apache and I want to show you how to create a load balancer service to publish this application to the internet. So we go to the catalog, networking and create load balancer. Mm, which is name, web app, everyone, I don't know, which is an IP, right? And a port, maybe 8080, it's okay. Let me close this. Okay, next. The service type, HTTP, but I could choose HTTPS or TCP. Persistence, if I choose yes, it gives me some methods. Okay, for HTTP, I can choose source IP or cookie. For HTTPS, I can choose source IP or SSL session ID and for TCP I just have source IP but I want to show you the load balancer in action so I will choose no persistence at all okay next if I enable this the load balancer will monitor uh, uh, the servers uh, and remove one of the server if, if uh, it's not working okay this URL is okay so before I submit this form I need to show you that in this IP in this port there's nothing at the moment right no response at all so stop this and create our load balancer. Um, this works on a NSX edge and the load balancer service is created uh, with several objects like the virtual server, the, the application profile, the, the pool, etc. And this takes less than a minute, but much longer than a DNAT rule or firewall rule, okay? But it's pretty quick. You see, it's, it's done. Let's go to items, um, networking. Here, here is our load balancer service. If you click on details, you can see the name and the configurations, okay? As always. At the moment I have two options, two actions, uh, add a load balancer member or delete the load balancer. Well, let's choose the first one, okay? Remember, Fifty two or four. The port of of course eighty is an Apache. Submit this. And you can see the progress here. This is very quick, it's just a member. Okay. Now if you see the details again, you can see we have one member and now we have a new option available here which is modify load balancer members this is because it's, it's very common to disable a member to update the software or, or to apply patch uh, and then enable again but we have our load balancer with a member so this must work and here is our server one. 
it's okay, you can refresh, it's okay. So let's add a new member. So action, add, I do one as a member. Member FP. Okay, same port. Submit. Okay. Let's see the, the progress of this request. But in any case, I need to see it here, right? So I, if I refresh this, I see the server one, but now appears the server two. Okay, fresh. As you can see, uh, I have no persistent metal, so this is a round robin. So every each each uh, each refresh uh, redirects me to to a different server. Okay. Okay. Now let me show you how to disable a member. So select the load balancer, modify load balancer member. Let's choose the first one. Next. I want to delete member or disable. In this case, disable member. Submit. And let's see what happened here. If I refresh this. Okay, the server one is no longer available. So every every time I refresh the page, there's only the web server two here. Right? So let's enable the member again. As you can see on the list of members, this is marked as disabled. So I re-enable the member. Okay. And I can return here and see what happened. Eventually server one is available again. So it's very simple to create and manage load balancer service with Virialize Automation Console. I hope you enjoy this series and see you.